Hi everybody! Happy Saturday! Black Cat is welcoming you to my channel today. <laughs> so I begin by lighting my candle and getting relaxed and sitting down to work on a drawing. And I'm not doing anything serious at all today, just a cartoon um, animal trying to continue to find my style for these animals. And uh, I think I'm finally figuring out how I like my style to be with the animals. Yeah, I enjoyed how this raccoon turned out. I didn't make him too detailed, but I didn't make him too simple. He's kind of in between, but definitely still cartoonized and put into my style. And I decided not to go with black, whites, and grays like you see a lot of um, cartoons online with raccoons. I decided to go with browns, creams, tans, um, just because I much prefer the color palette that reminds me more of earthy tones. Um, and this one, of course, reminds me of coffee, <laughs> just with all the different browns. So yeah, I decided to do him with those tones, and I like how he turned out quite a lot. I was trying to make sure that he didn't end up looking like a red panda, um, and I think that I captured that pretty well because of the way I did the, like, his face mask. So what inspired me to do this raccoon was I have an outdoor video camera that is a security camera, and it's like down closer to the ground, and I have this raccoon that comes almost every night and the motion sensor gets set off on my video camera so it records and he comes up and he bops the camera with his nose almost every night he just comes and bullies the camera a little bit and then leaves and it's so funny and I just think they're hilarious creatures so I wanted to draw them I remember one time I was out camping and there was this raccoon that would not leave our campsite alone like he was used to people because you know he lives on the campsite so he was <laughs> clearly used to people and he uh, kept taking my Cheetos <laughs> like I'd throw Cheetos out and he'd take them and it got to the point where he was brave enough to come and take them from me which is crazy and he was so cute <laughs> so he got Cheetos and you know that raccoon was just like getting junk food left and right from people on the campsite <laughs> like he was living his best life <laughs> so and I've got the raccoon that's like bullying my camera right now he dives in my dumpster if it's not closed so that is why I decided to call this raccoon drawing the professional dumpster diver because <laughs> that is what the one I am dealing with is that is what almost all of them are I'm pretty sure <laughs> so I thought it would be cute to uh, give him a little label on here. So then I colored in all of the uh, letters and gave them kind of a shadow to stand out more. Because just the white wasn't working for me. I just felt like it wasn't standing out. So this helped. And only while I'm watching this back now do I realize that I didn't color in the E with pink. Oh my gosh. It's too late now, guys. Can't go back. I've already posted it on my Instagram. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do with these drawings is add in the sparkles. I just think it makes it so cute. So, of course, all of them get the sparkles. And once I turn these into stickers, I feel like that's just going to make it even cuter. I don't know if I should go with square stickers or circle stickers. Anyway, he's all finished, and I like how he turned out. I think he's cute, simple, and cute. And yeah, have a good rest of your day, guys. Thanks for watching.